Theon Greyjoy wants to make a name for himself by using his navy to successfully support three battles. We'll show you how you can beat this challenge on Legendary Tactics. The Coastal Assault. Balan Greyjoy says, Our old enemies are at war. The time has come to claim my crown, and I pay the iron price. Nothing would please me more, father, says Asha Greyjoy. What about me, says Theon Greyjoy. What about you? You've dined at the Stark's table for a long time, my son. Why don't you raid the coast and prove to me that you're still a Greyjoy? So you can see we have to win three land battles supported by sea before the end of round six. As ever, I like to beat it much more quickly than that if possible. So I will take you through one way of doing that. So right away, my ships, while there's a lot of territories right around me, I can't count on all of my enemies coming and trying to invade the Iron Islands. So I need to get those fleets out into a position where they can be useful. Three battles isn't really that many, but remember, I have to win those battles too. So I'm thinking if I can do this in the right sequence, then I can also uh, double up on my movement of my first ship. So I'll, uh, I'll definitely get that one going. Give him, it's funny, it's called a march order when it's uh, the Navy. It's a bit of a wasted turn, unfortunately, for these guys. But if I'm going to give myself a strong position, I probably want to be closer to the top of the track so giving myself some influence is likely a wise idea i've got one extra troop here um i guess he'll just he'll just defend so i don't want to lose that troop because i'm going to need him to win a battle so just in case he gets attacked by the starks up north i think that would be wise so that looks pretty good for the first turn all right, so what I'll do here is accelerate all of the bots play by 500% so that you don't have to suffer through that. I'll slow it down when it comes to my turn. And uh, so I'm gonna move that fleet first. If I group him with the other three, then I can move him a second time if I choose. So it's a good efficient way to get fleets where you want them to go. I think I will actually leave one fleet there though, because there's a lot of territories that I could potentially support with that fleet. I'll spread them out into three different sea spaces. As ever, I love seeing my opponents fight because then they waste all their battle cards. I'm going to have to beat this quickly, so uh, there's only six turns to do it in, so I'll have to do it in the first round of cards. I won't be able to waste any. Doesn't hurt. I mean, my influence at this point, I've got six, so it, it wouldn't hurt to bid a little bit here in order to... Uh, get to rank a little more highly. On the other hand, I don't want to run out when I really need it, so I'm not going to overcommit. All right, so that's solid. I've got a third place, third place, and a second place, so. Really, it's not about that track, though. It's about the battles. The Valyrian Steel would be good if I was going to spend a bit more. That would be the track to do it in. I'm still at 0 to 3, so I think I'll, there's still lots of game left here, so I'll, I'll keep that uh, in reserve for now. Not really expecting a fight here, so I can move that fleet north. Just in case mustering comes up, I think I'll move the Greywater Watch unit over to Moat Caitlin so I can set down another unit there. I need to strengthen my forces. I'll march with those guys with the plus one order just in case I get the opportunity to make an attack that I think I can win. And with uh, my special support order, that'll give me a little extra juice here to get my first win against uh, River Run. Theon Greyjoy, our sea support has been disrupted. Well, that's really annoying. So I wonder if part of the challenge for this will be that the support is going to get cut regularly. So uh, that's why I think having these units spread out will let me get that support I need to finish the deal. So I do, there is a unit I need to face there. So I'll need to push him out of there if, I, if I'm going to take control of that. And I think that sea zone will be 
essential to my victory. So do I leave him? I think I need to leave him because I can cover a lot of different spaces with my, my ship spread out. So I need to win this one. He's got the advantage. But I don't want to go too heavily. Oh, that's kind of nice, though. I get a plus one for all my participating navies, so that's a bonus. Four to two is a little bit of overkill, but I've got the Bay of Ice under control. So now I'm really set up to take these battles. Okay, so let's see if I can win my first battle in River Run here. They're not overwhelmingly powerful, and I've got... Uh... Could I do that with one unit? That is a definite possibility. What do you think? Maybe I'll wait till next turn. Let's hold off for now. I'll I don't want to throw my armies in and lose them too quickly. So I'll strengthen myself first. See, that battle doesn't do much for me. Moat Kaelin there. Because I'm not supported. But it would let me lay a troop down if I, uh, if I get that. That is assuming I do get the, the mustering during the next phase, the Westeros phase. Okay, so I'm going to do some damage there on Caitlyn. Get rid of a low card, so that's good. There's mustering. That's what we needed. Don't really care how many people they muster down in the south. Knights might be the way to go here. I'm not really attacking too many fortresses. Strongholds, so... Time to toughen up. All right, so the fleets are in place. My armies are strengthened. I think it's time to start striking. After all, I'm in turn three, so maybe I'll throw a raid support down here and I can uh, a raid order, then I can cut their raid before they break my support. Because that would be frustrating if they keep doing that turn after turn. So we need the special support order there, so that will ensure lots of power there if anybody attacks me or if I attack them. That fleet is going to do some damage. We need another support order up there. There's two potential places. I think I can beat the uh, single unit there, the Stark unit. Just need to rearrange this and get this set up properly so I have the strength where I need it to be. So marching from Pike, that guy won't need... I'm, I'm going to get him to join the other forces in Seaguard. And Seaguard is where the actual strength needs to be because that's the one that's going to be attacking River Run. There we go. Now I've got it right. It took me a second, but we finally got there. That's the one. We got the neutral march order. I think I can take that stony area there. Get that support back on. Man, I'm just making a mess of this. Don't worry, I'll get it right. Well, Kaylin really just needs to survive, so... Could add that support, uh, just in case we need some help anywhere. I do kind of like how it whizzes past the computer's turn. That is a little bit uh, slow at times. There's really nothing worth noting down there going on. This is all inconsequential to me. It's really only the Starks and the Lannisters I need to worry about. Alright, but which attack to do first? River Run is up to 7. Maybe I want to wait and see if he moves some of those troops out of there. It's 
reinforce in the north because I have a feeling I'm going to win two battles up there. Okay. I'm not really concerned about the outcome of this battle. I mean, I would lose a troop, but I think I just want to soften them up a bit and maybe get rid of some of my lower cards. Get the plus one battle strength there if I use Theon Greyjoy. So may not, uh, yeah, that's really, I, I should have tossed a, a lower card, but uh, that's all right. Not a huge deal there. You win some, you lose some, right? Okay, so let's get this party started. I need to win three battles. It's taken me a little while to get started, but now that I have, I will need to make short work of these people. Yes, I do want to control Seaguard. Very good. All right, so five to two, advantage. I've got my support, which is the special support order. That puts us at seven to seven, so it really comes down to who plays the better card. Now that's interesting. I could, re he's got a maximum of nine. So I could tie him there, but Balan Greyjoy will reduce his value down. So I think that's the way to go because that's a guaranteed win then. That works quite well. Ah, Theon, with victories like these, he is going to get into his father's good graces. Time for my second victory. Should be an easy win. I didn't find this challenge was particularly difficult. Um, this was my first attempt at it. I'm sure I could find some efficiencies next time around. We could probably beat this in the third turn here. It's doubtful that we could do it in the second turn. If anyone out there is able to do it in the second turn, please let me know in the comments. That would be very impressive. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. Crushed his soul. So I'm thinking Winterfell might be my final line of attack. So I think it would be very winnable in the, the fourth turn there. I've been playing it safe. It is kind of fun to, to beat these challenges on your first try. And this actually works to my benefit now. So everybody else gets to get rid of one card. I'm not the lowest bidder. So it was a good thing I kept a little bit of influence because now I can get rid of that zero. That leaves me with my four banger, which should win me the last battle. All right, we've got the bids on the Iron Throne down to one, so don't really need to bid on the tiebreakers. Everybody's got more influence than me, so I'm not likely to win this, but I might as well spend it going for the Valyrian Steel. Yeah, I've really fallen in those tracks, but it doesn't really matter. I think I've got this one locked up now. No raid orders, that works well for me. That prevents them from disrupting my support. Yeah, I'll just launch as many support orders in as I can. That Winterfell is looking juicy. Should be able to take that handily. Those guys definitely need to be marching. I'll put a backup plan in place just in case they get wily. I think I can actually win on a defense order as well. So um, actually I'll hope that they attack me there and I can win that way too. I've got a, a couple different options, so. 
really not much left to do there. That looks pretty solid. Oh man, he's even softening Winterfell up for me. Brilliant. Well, let's send everybody in. Got the four to three advantage. Got my extra support. Hmm. Seems the graphics are disappearing there. Whatever he played, I'm gonna crush him. He can't play higher than four. So that is a victory right after it resolves. Not bad, brother, a few more years and you might be worthy of a bigger command. Perfect, well, if you're enjoying our content, please stab the like button and join House Legendary by crushing the subscribe button. Come again when you can and uh, add some comments in there if you have uh, better ways that I could have finished that challenge. Thanks so much for joining us.